Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I just got done getting ready. Um, I did my makeup today. I actually did a full face, put on eyelashes, um, and I actually really like the way my makeup came out. My skin looks so good. I've really been trying to get my skin under control with the breakouts, with the masks. It's been really annoying, but it's finally under control and it's looking really good. Um, yeah, I did my makeup because I do have a client in a little while well actually like two hours i'm actually going to look at a house um before she gets here so um i have to leave here in a little bit but yeah i thought i would just do another vlog and show you guys my setup and uh just a little look into my life as a makeup artist i don't want to show you guys this mirror i actually got this at home goods the other day it was 30 dollars it is an impressions vanity mirror that is the same brand that um my vanity is from i get questions about my vanity all the time i actually have a video on it i'll link it down below but yeah my vanity is from impressions vanity and so is my mirror um my studio light mirror and this is also from there as well but i got this at home goods i really needed a new mirror and this mirror is amazing it's huge number one like this is the size of my hand and this is the size of the mirror it's humongous and it rotates anyway goes up down um and it is battery operated so it does have an led light it's touch so you can just turn it off or you can have it plugged in but yeah i just wanted to share this because if you can get one of these at home goods i'm sure they have it at marshall tj maxx like those stores as well but um definitely try to find it because it's huge and I love the fact you could like move it however you want so I just wanted to mention that because I've been loving this real quickly I just wanted to run you through my setup so starting over here we have lip products this is not all the products that I carry in my kit I just pulled these specific lip products since this is a bridal trial and these are typically the colors that I stick with nudes mauves um, and pinky nudes. That's pretty much it. Um, so I have some of my favorite ghosts of colors, um, a couple color pop. These are all lipsticks. I love this palette by Mac. It's like a bunch of nudes. Um, and then just some glosses that I like. And then of course lip liners over here. We have mascara and tools, lashes, brows, gel liners, pigments, um, liner, lash glue, like all of that stuff, disposables, and then I'm going to use this palette today, the Going Coconuts palette, and then I also have my palette that I made um, that's like a bunch of individual colors, very bridal, makeup remover wipes, brushes, this here to put my used brushes in. And then moving over here, I actually took products out of my kit and laid them out because I really need to reorganize my kit. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pull products that I, I want to use on today's clients. I also did want to mention my Glamcore light. Let me turn it on for you guys. Sometimes I use the ring light, sometimes I use the Glamcore light. Um, so yeah, it just depends on my mood. Um, I kind of was feeling the glam core light because I like the fact that I can adjust the temperature. Um, so that's why I put this one out. And I also have my aperture light behind it, which is a little portable light that is super pow powerful. So, um, yeah, that's my lighting for today. Okay. So I'm going to go through my kit today and tomorrow and start adding in the stuff that I bought and basically decluttering and taking stuff out. It's a mess right now because I've just been like going through stuff, but I started with the powder section and I did wipe it down as best as I could. I used alcohol and I tried to get the stains out, but it's makeup, it stains and this material, this is like a foam, so it soaks up all the stains and it's really hard to get out, but it's clean, like I scrubbed the heck out of it. So I wiped down all the powders and pretty much everything's gonna stay the same. The only thing I'm gonna take out is this. This is the ABH translucent powder. 
I think I'm going to take this out because I've been using, where is it, the, I've been using the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder. This is translucent and they're, it's very similar, it's very similar to the Anastasia, so it was on the top of this stack, so I just took it off and this stack is Fair by Ben Nye, Fair by Maybelline, Fair Light by Maybelline, Light by Maybelline because I love the loose Fit Me powders. Um, and then we have Huda, Sugar Cookie, Banana Powder, and Cameo Powder. So those are my two stacks. I'm going to take out MAC. I'm going to take out MAC Medium Tan because I have Medium Dark. This is the MSF, by the way. I have Medium Dark, and honestly, it is so similar in color that I just feel like I don't need both of them so I have I'm gonna keep medium dark and medium then I have my two face atelier powders in translucent and medium two Charlotte Tilbury powders one and two and this is my Urban Decay all nighter powder this is translucent so those are the powders that are staying these are three loose Maybelline powders. Again, the Fit Me formula. I've mentioned them a million times. I really like that formula. Um, these are medium, medium dark, and deep. So these are my deeper um, loose setting powders. And I have them in a smaller container because I don't use them as much. These are definitely my most used. So to save some space, I just have them in smaller packaging. Okay, next we have primers. These are all the primers I had in my kit. I know it's excessive, but I'm having a hard time condensing these because even though I, I am not like a holy grail primer person, like I don't always use it, I like to know that I at least have different formulas of primer depending on the client. So this is really good. This is a primer oil. I'm not going to get rid of that because this is good for really dry skin. It's also good for cream products. If it's feeling the cream products feeling a little dry, add a little bit of this and it makes it super creamy again. This is the Dr. Brandt's Luminizing Primer. This is good for pores, but it also keeps the skin like glowy. Um, this is also good. Becca Evermatt's. This is for like people that are super, super oily, so I feel like I need to keep this in here just in case. We also have the Benefit Professional, which is just a classic for people that have large pores. Um, Rimmel Stay Matte, which is honestly a really great drugstore primer. I was using this on myself for a while. Um, it's just... It's very, I, I like the fact that it's not a silicone primer. It just sits well under any foundation. It doesn't pill up or anything like that. It kind of feels like a lotion. So that's why I liked this because I felt like it was versatile, but I don't know if I'll keep it in my kit. Milk Hydro Grip, <sighs> loved this for the longest time, but it does not work with every foundation. You do have to be careful what you use this with because um, not all formulas mesh with this. If you're going to use this, you need to use something that has more of a water base in the foundation um, rather than a silicone base because silicone and something like this is not going to mesh that well. Um, lastly, we have the Danessa Myricks Refining Gel. Okay, so for this section, this is where I keep my Face Atelier foundations, correctors, and primers. I ended up keeping this primer just because I had the room for it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll switch it and put this here. That doesn't really fit very well, but whatever. I don't know. Whatever. So I have Face Atelier foundation. I just labeled them, and this is a adjuster. It's a yellow adjuster, so if the foundation is too cool for the client you can add a little bit of yellow to warm it up these are my Mac Pro um, studio fix uh, concealer palettes we have I think light and medium here um, then I have two correctors I just kept them in here so they don't get lost this is the Pro Conceal cool pink corrector and this is um, Danessa Myricks it's a very orange corrector for dark spots 
Um, and then here are the primers. I also have RCMA thinner in here. It's basically like an oil to thin out creams. And then this is a body oil, which, you know what, I'm gonna wipe this down because it got a little messy. So next we have foundations, and I already started taking some of them out, but I think I'm gonna be getting rid of my MAC Studio Fix, um, kind of like, I don't know, I think I'm going to keep them, but I'm just going to store them away, I'm not going to keep them in my kits, I don't want to get rid of them completely, um, but I haven't reached for them in a while, and I just feel like they're wasting space, so I'm going to take these out, I did to pot them, obviously, into these smaller containers, um, this is a Juvia's Place foundation. This is like super full coverage, which is why I have it in here. If I need a little more coverage, I can always add it to foundations, but I, again, I haven't been using it, so I think I'm gonna get rid of these guys. What's in here? Oh, this is another Juvia's Place. You know what, I'll keep, I don't know. Okay, so I did this section. This is primarily just foundations. Um, and I did stick this primer in here because it's too tall to put in here. Um, but we have three of my NARS Longwear Radiant foundations. We have LS4, no, L4, L5, and M4. Um, those are the shades. Then I have two Makeup Forever um, this is like their original Makeup Forever foundation. I have Y422 and Y405. These are two like very warm, um, medium tan shades. That's why I keep them in here. Um, just because I like the undertone of them. Then we have three of the Danessa Merricks. We have N01, N04, N06. And these are two new additions. So we have the Wander Beauty... I love this for myself, so I decided to get two shades from my kit because it's such a great full coverage foundation. Well, medium to full coverage, but it's so lightweight, and that's what I like about it. It feels like you have nothing on your skin, and it leaves your skin looking nice and fresh. I wouldn't say dewy, but it leaves it looking fresh. So I got Fair, and then I also got Shade Light in this, and... Depending on how I like it in these two shades, I may get a couple more shades and phase out these NARS Radiant Longwear ones. Because I like these, but I don't love them. Like, some artists swear by them. I, I think they're good, but they're not the best foundation I ever tried. So I'm going to see how I feel about these two. And then if I really like them, I'm going to add medium and tan and then the one after, maybe one of the darker shades, but I have fair and light. Fair is honestly not super fair. It's <laughs> it's not as pale as I would like, but regardless, I'm gonna give those a shot. Um, we have two Graftobian palettes here, RCMA Highlighting Contour palettes. These both are Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations, and then we have some of these Shinto um, RCMA foundations so this is porcelain and then these are three are shinto colors so they're like cooler browns so they're good for contouring so yeah i got those um so that's it for that section okay so i finished this kit it's all organized um it makes me really happy an organized kit is like oh it's so satisfying. So I ended up taking out a couple of concealers. I took out the Dose of Colors. I took out, I had some of these. These are by Too Faced. Um, took out all of those foundations. And this is what we are left with. Um, I have the NARS Blush Palette. This is the Narcissist, um, I don't know what palette this is. I don't know what it's called. Okay, this is what it looks like. So I have that. Um, cream blushes here. And then I have the Dior um, highlighting palette, which is like a go-to. So that's what I have in there. In here I have um, Mayron highlighting contour palettes. And then I'm also going to stick... 
these guys in there as well. The Era Beauty foundations. Okay, so now we have lips that I'm going to go through. A bunch of my lip products are actually already out of here because... I was doing a client, so they're over there, but I'm going to go through these and throw some of this, some of these products out and replace them with, um, the liquid lipsticks from here and I've got a couple other new lip products. So I'm going to go through these, um, throw out what needs to be thrown out and then replace them with new stuff. Okay, so, so far, these are the ones that I'm, oop, I already dropped them. These are the ones I'm getting rid of. Um, honestly, it's hard for me to just, like, throw out products, but I've had these for a while, and I just feel like they need to be thrown out, so, um, I'm gonna get rid of them, but I just wanted to show you guys the ones I'm getting rid of. Okay. You know what time are we gonna eat? Goodbye. If you're wondering where I put like the extra foundations and concealers that I take out of my kit, I don't throw them out right away unless I, they're like really old. I do store them in here. So this drawer is like my for my freelance kit and it has extra foundations and powders that I'm just not using at the moment. And every once in a while I'll open this up and circulate the products from in here with my kit. So I'll add them back into my kit or maybe I'll throw some of them out but I do keep like all of my extra foundations and I have all of this stuff as well these are extra brow pencils and stuff that Benefit has sent me so this is like my extras drawer and then I have another drawer for extra disposable products like mascara ones and all of that but like this is for like face products um so yeah this is for my freelance kit this drawer channel we do makeup we do vlogs we do business content and we do curly hair content um but yeah I just filmed a video on net plopping so stay tuned for that actually that video will probably be up before this vlog but I'm like out of breath um so I just filmed that I don't even know it's almost seven o'clock I can't believe it's already that late I need to clean up my studio because I have two clients tomorrow, two trials, both already booked with me. Um, they're just doing their trial to see what look they want to do. So I have to clean up in here because my first client's at 10 a.m. and I hate waking up and like having to clean, set up, get ready, and all that before the client. Like I like to kind of make sure it's already most of that is done. Um, that way I can just get up, enjoy my morning, get ready, that kind of thing. So, it needs clean. Um, my kits, like you like you saw in the beginning of this vlog, um, my kit is like super organized right now. Both of my open like suitcase thingies, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, those are all like so organized, so I think I'm just going to keep all of my products in those and just set them up on like my uh, tabletop here because I don't want to take products out of them because like I said they're just so organized right now and they look so like 
aesthetically pleasing like they're, they're making my OCD very happy so I don't want to take products out of there so I think I'm just going to leave them open and just work out of those and uh, so yeah that's pretty much it I will catch up with you guys later Just checking in I just got home um, I had a bride uh, this afternoon actually it was like a super casual appointment she's just getting married inside her parents home um, so it's not a big wedding or anything she just wanted her makeup done for like pictures and stuff so I did that and then right after that I went and looked at another house hold on I need to check I change my battery yeah, went and looked at another house. Not really sure what we're gonna do yet. If we're gonna put an offer in, if we're not. I definitely like the house. I can tell my boyfriend like the house, but I don't know. We're trying not, to, at least myself, I am trying not to get as attached because I'm so emotional and I just get so attached and I don't wanna be let down again. So trying to keep it very like calm, cool, collected. But anyways, got home. I wanted to drop my kid off because I didn't want it sitting in my cold car because it's freezing here in Jersey. So I did do my nails and I didn't vlog it. I told you guys I was going to vlog it and I didn't. This is what they look like. But yeah, real quickly I wanted to show you guys what I use. Okay, so the nails themselves I get on Amazon. They're by McCarts, which is very popular. Um, nail brand for like poly gel and stuff got them on Amazon and they come with all different sizes I think there's eight different sizes and You basically use them like you would a press-on, but they're a lot stronger than the press-on nails you would buy at like Walmart Then I use this this is base gel So this is a base gel that you would use if you were using poly gel I think you can even use a base gel, like the same kind of base gel you would use if you were um, painting your nails with gel nail polish. You have to do a base and then the gel color. I think that would work as well. Use this basically like how you would use glue. So I put a good amount on the, the press on and then I press it onto my nail. I make sure that there's no air pockets. You want to make sure that you put enough on there where it actually coats the entire nail and like I said there's no air pockets. If you have one air pocket it's not the end of the world but then I while I'm holding it down I cure it underneath a UV light like a UV lamp. Um, I have a tiny one again got it on Amazon. Um, I cure it for like 30 seconds and then it's good to go. It is so much stronger than nail glue and these will last for a really long time. I cut them down, I file them, I, you know, since these are actually already in the coffin shape, you really don't have to file the size or anything. You can get away with just cutting down the length and they're already in a really good shape. Like Then you just use either regular nail polish or gel polish. I always use gel, I do a base coat, Two coats of gel polish, um, again using the UV light because you have to when you use gel polish, and then a top coat, and that's pretty much it. As far as these accent nails go, I kind of explained it the other day, but basically I just use clear poly gel, which is like a very thick gel. I put in the butterflies, glitter, whatever you're going to use. Cure it underneath the light for 30 seconds, take it out, then I put another very thin layer of poly gel to kind of coat like the, the glitter and all of that so it's kind of encapsulated in there. Put it underneath the light again to cure it and then I file it down to make it smooth. 
then it will be super cloudy but the second you put on the top coat it makes it shiny and you can see all the glitter and designs that you did so it's really easy um, these like I said will last me honestly I get impatient and I I get bored of my nails so they'll probably only last me two weeks because I'll start picking at them but they last a long time they're super strong like they're not flimsy at all and they look like I got them done at the nail salon so yeah, if you're wondering how I do my nails at home, my long nails, that's what I do. And you can, of course, do this with short nails as well. If you like more of a shorter look, um, you could do that. I've done that as well. And then if you're wondering what color this light pink is, um, I love this color. It's, like, one of my favorites. It's by a brand called Nail Addict. Um, Nail Addict Los Angeles. And I actually have a discount code, I believe, with them. I will put it on the screen. Um, and in the description box. So yeah, you just use the base, the gel, and then the top coats. And then I think they have a remover as well, um, which I have somewhere. But this is the color Secret Lover, if you're wondering. Um, it's like the best, like, pale pink. It's not too pink. It's not too, like, pale. It's, it's like the perfect, like, pale baby pink. Um... So yeah, called Secret Lover. Again, the brand is Nail Addict. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just wanted to come on here and close out this vlog. Thank you so much if you made it to this point in the video. I really appreciate it. I know it's probably going to be a long vlog. But um, I did want to remind you guys that I am going to be doing a giveaway once I hit 20,000 subscribers on here. We're almost at 16K right now. So, um, yeah, let's keep those subscriptions coming so we can get to the giveaway. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much for the love and support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.